Affinity Photo has a number of personas we can use to essentially enter different modes within the same application. When you click through to these icons you see in the top left, you'll enter a new working space that has different tools available to you as well as different panels and palettes full of settings you can tweak to your liking. In this video, we're going to talk about the Liquify persona. So once you enter that mode, you'll notice it's active up here. Uh, there's a new set of tools you can utilize and to enter this persona, I should proceed the fact that you need an actual layer selected uh, to go ahead and enter that. Uh, typically that you'll want to use a photo for this instance. So we'll go into that mode. And to start off, you have all of these tools. One is to liquefy push forward tool, push left tool, twirl tool, pinch tool, etc. And these all do different things in terms of making the photo essentially just move into a different way than it was prior. Maybe we want this road, for instance, in this photo to veer off to a different side. We can basically utilize the push left tool to kind of skew the image enough to do something like that. You'll notice it kind of messes with the perspective of cer certain areas of the image. So it's a pretty destructive edit, but it gives you a sense of what you can do with this tool. Maybe we'll want to utilize a different tool to do this. So if you click and hold and then just drag with this tool, you'll get the effects updating in real time. So something like so. Um, let's try maybe with this fog in the background using this twirl effect. And you'll see if you click and hold, it starts to basically spin. So you have just a little more subtle movement going on. So you can really make some abstract photos out of this if you were going for that effect. As opposed to going in and just, you know, making these things manually, this tool kind of lends you a hand to just skew an image to such a degree that it allows you to bring it to life. So here, this tool essentially grows what you have inside the cursor. So that's kind of nice for some perspective there. Let's kind of make this road amplified a bit. So subtle effects, this one would just basically do the opposite of what we just did. It'll shrink everything inside. Maybe we'll do that out here and it'll slowly do that. So just like the normal brush tool, you can modify the size using the bracket keys or over here to the right, there's a size indicator. You can adjust hardness, of course, even opacity. Uh, and speed. So that's kind of nice. There's even a ramp feature which you can adjust basically how the brush appears. Okay. Uh, you can introduce new masks if you want. Uh, that's not anything I'd probably utilize personally, but that is a feature here. You can even see the histogram of the photo after you update it. So there's a lot of tools available to you. You can adjust the mesh to show and unshow. And even there's these tools here that allow you to essentially define areas that freeze in the sense that they won't change when you do the liquify effects. So you can basically paint a mask on, say here, And then we'll maybe go about doing some refinements with the twirl tool. It was very subtle with this photo. And then when you're satisfied, you simply click apply. You'll go back to the original photo persona and you're ready to edit even further in this mode. So let's say you want to adjust an actual portrait or an image of someone in particular. 
um, maybe you're doing it for a magazine spread or something like that and you're getting to the point where you need to just actually tweak shapes of the body so some would say this is kind of playing god in a sense but it's just kind of just to show by example in my case so here you can shrink and grow certain things on the body if you need to just kind of do that effect here ramp this up a bit So you could just slowly follow the lines, try to make her arm look realistic. <laughs> it's not working so hot at the moment, but we'll see. Something like so. It's pushing left, so we actually want it to go forward. something like that it's it's a subtle effect um, I keep saying that because I don't know that you'll want to use a ton of this on your photos that will start to make it look a little artificial which isn't a good thing but sometimes you just need to address that in a photo kind of in an overlaying aspect only issue you can run into as you see is the bricks in the background assuming you might delete the background uh, that's something you'll have to definitely pay attention to but we're just focusing on the subject at this point that's another editing process that will have to happen after we exit this persona so here you can adjust maybe body parts like the chin shape the nose shape some people are particular about these things. Kind of want to bring in the hairline a little bit. So that's just to show you by example, obviously that's not looking so hot, but we'll take it and run with it but that's something you could do that would be a very very kind of final effect on a photo I would say if you really need to adjust the shape of maybe just a body part or um, something on the face for, for instance maybe the cheekbone grows something like that that's a, a definite use case for this tool so definitely check it out it is called again the liquify persona and affinity photo all these tools here are here to help you do that. Be sure to utilize those and adjust these settings and see what you come up with.